So I literally just come out of the Salas Park, as you could uh, you can see behind me. And to be fair, uh, that is uh, a, a real disappointing performance today. It's a long old way to Salas Park, and it's a proper old uh, old ground. And uh, you know, nearly three thousand Wolves fans have made the made the journey today and we're going back up the uh, to the West Midlands really really disappointed at no point did we have any control in that game it's really surprising because Palace yet yeah, they're on a good run uh, they knew they were going to be difficult to beat and uh, they just come off the back of a, a win against City and um, in the first half both teams seemed to cancel each other out and I thought it was an opportunity missed today for Wolves I thought we had the opportunity to at least get a point out of this game and um, the second half was really 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 disappointing uh, Palace got the goal I think it was Sahar initially ruled out uh, offside VAR decision ruled onside and then we had a penalty just after he bought Traore and Pedenza and I want to come on to that in a bit um, just after that but it was again ruled out just outside the box by uh, VAR uh, ended up being a free kick and then Palace um, scored a second I think it was a de deflected goal from Gallagher obviously he had to score because on loan or sign from West Brom and um, you know the Palace fans then got behind the team and they saw it out towards the end the one thing I'm going to say and I don't mean this to be disre disrespectful to the Palace fans is compared to the Leeds fans the week before the Leeds fans really <laughs> rose their performance of their team and then the team responded you've seen that Palace fans apart from their ultras only really started to sing when they got in front a very very quiet in the first half where we were but that, I mean they did finish up being quite loud but that's the only thing I would say was a bit, that was a bit disappointing from them I don't mean that to be disrespectful to Palace you've got a great side you've got some great strikers um, but Wolves never controlled the midfield I want to get on to the substitutions that Bruno made as well he bought Traore on and Pedenz on great we bought Traore on for Semedo. Nuno tried that, and if you're going to play Traore, you want him up the top of the pitch where he can do some harm. Not playing when Palace were on the front defensively, he never really got forward. And he, 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 he seems to have this answer of throwing strikers on. I felt that we were losing. Whoever won the midfield today would win the game, and in the second half, that was Palace, and they won the game. I would have bought, I mean, Martino got a yellow card early doors and that effect, oh, you know, affected his performance. Nevers was never really able to control the game. I thought this was a game for him to bring Dendonka into the middle and maybe play three across the middle, win the, win the midfield and then get on the front foot. And we never did that. We never had any control throughout the game. Um, and Palace, the stats back it up, they had 60% possession to our 40, 13%, 13 shots to our four uh, shots. Um, in the whole game I think they had six shots on target to our two so you have to say that Palace deserved to win in the second half but it is frustrating and disappointing because I felt if Wolves had been more offensive minded more on the front foot and took the game to Palace we could have won that game and that's the disappointed we just sat back on the counter and never had any control at all it's hard to give a man of the match in fact I'm not going to give a man a match I'm going to give it to Dan Kilman he signed his new contract um, Towards the end, he was the he was the one that was driving out of the uh, defence, attacking him. You know, Nori looked like a good outlet again for us today. Performance rating on the whole, you know, I'm very very positive on the whole, but I can't give it more than a five today. It's been a long cold way. It's damn cold, um, and we've got a long way back. And it just feels like it had we been a little bit more positive, which Bruno Large is supposed to be then we could have gone on and got something out of the game. At the end, we've lost it. It's going to the international break. Still in a good position, 16 points uh, on the board. But it could have been better today. It could have been a lot better if we'd have been a little bit more positive. And it felt like, very much like Villa lead second half. And again, second half today, we just didn't get a grip of the game. And that was the disappointing thing for me. So yeah. Let me know what you think. Obviously, extra time won't be uh, on Saturday evening. It will be Sunday morning. We'll have the match vlog out. We've got the international fan coming. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please smash a like, consider subscribing. And yeah, it's going to be a long old journey back. Until the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave, always Wolves.